Within two months of his gubernatorial defeat, Jay Rockefeller is named the president of West Virginia Wesleyan College, a small conservative and Methodist liberal arts institution in the very Republican town of Buchanan. I believe a college has to be part of a community and part of a county and part of a state. And when the college came to me and asked me to do this work or consider the work, uh, one of the things they said is they wanted to see Wesleyan even more a part of West Virginia as a whole and this area. Accompanied by much fanfare, John D. Rockefeller III delivers the keynote address following his son's investiture. I am pleased as a father would be that my son has entered into a relatively stable line of employment. J. Rockefeller will be the college's first president not to be Methodist. He's Presbyterian. Its first president not to be an ordained minister. And its first president who lacks an earned doctorate degree. Once again, Rockefeller sets out to prove himself in a small West Virginia community. There were people's nose were out of joint because he didn't have the academic background and he didn't have the degrees and was a politician. There was a lot of snarking going on amongst the community and particularly, and I dare say this, the faculty, at least the people on the faculty that I knew. I was at peace with myself. I was at peace with the world. Um, I didn't care a whole lot what people thought about me if I had a, a good feeling about what I was doing. I think he achieved more in a short period of time than many presidents have achieved for a long period of time. 